What's going on, fight fans? Welcome back to the Boxing Tip. It's your host, Sebastian. Now, I'm going to go ahead and talk about this fight and why I feel that the decision was a bad one. Also, I'm going to be giving you a round-by-round -round analysis of why I felt a fighter won a round. Um, kind of talk about some key moments in a round. And as you can see by the photo, that is my scorecard. So I'm going to be going off of that. And mind you, I've watched this fight three times already and I have scored this fight the same every time and if you look at the photo you'll notice that a couple of rounds are circled those were very close rounds that probably could have gone either way and I'll also be explaining why I gave the circled rounds to a particular fighter okay so with that being said let's go ahead and jump into it starting with the first round in my breakdown and prediction video, I predicted that this fight would be a chess match and round one was no exception. Both fighters started off pretty patient, kind of pumping the jab, using some movements. Um, Arthur Akaval was displaying some really good defense, slipping a lot of Billy Joe Saunders shots and landed a really nice straight left to Billy Joe Saunders face. And I feel like that punctuated the round enough, the only really meaningful punch in that round. And that's why I gave him that round. Now round two, Archer Akaval came in and his defense was showing up well. He was also landing a lot of good counter body shots on Billy Joe Saunders. He was also the more busier fighter by far. Uh, Billy Joe Saunders, like I said in my last video, he tends to wait a little bit longer than he should. And uh, that's why I thought that was a very clear round for Archer Akaval. Now round three was one of my favorite rounds for Archer Akaval. He started off showing some real good ring generalship. He was cutting off Billy Joe Saunders, started throwing a lot of nice combinations and landing some pretty big shots in the middle of those combinations. It was a clear round for Arta Akavov, so that's why I scored that for him. Round four was a little bit better round for Billy Joe Saunders. It was still a really close round, but he did land a couple of good counter shots, a straight left and a little check right hook. He was also doing a little bit of showboating, Eh, it wasn't the best, I guess, but he was flicking out a really good jab, and it was landing really sharp, and I thought that was enough for him to win that round. Round 5 was another pretty close round. Archer Akavov came in throwing some good combos and displaying some really good defense, also some really good foot movement. Billy Joe Saunders managed to get in one pretty good left, but what I didn't like about him in that round is that he actually stopped throwing a lot of punches in the second half of the round. Um, it was enough for Arthur Akavov to kind of turn it up and they'd be able to actually steal that round. Round six, I like how Arthur Akavov actually took the fight to Billy Joe Saunders, showing some more really good combinations. Also, that defense just kept showing up round after round, slipping punches, blocking punches. He seemed really confident in the sixth round. His feet were very busy. Like I said, he was like I said in my prediction video, he likes to actually move away from punches instead of sit there and block or, you know, take the chance of actually getting hit. Um, and you could tell that Billy Joe Saunders was taking a lot of punishments. Face started to mark up quite a bit. Round seven was a little bit of a tricky round to score. Um, Akavov came in with some really good aggression. He started the round with a good attack. Uh, landing a couple of shots, showed some defense, showed some movement, and then ended the round with a nice right hand uh, to Billy Joe Saunders' face. Uh, Billy Joe Saunders, in the middle of all that, did land a pretty good combination on Archer Akavov. It didn't hurt him really, but I guess to the eye it would have looked good. Might have been enough for you to score the round for him. Um, me personally, I thought Archer Akavov did enough in the beginning and the end of the round for me to give him that round. In round eight, Billy Joe Saunders did a lot better. It's actually my favorite round by Billy Joe Saunders. He came out really aggressive. He was actually backing Archer Akavov up a little bit and he was getting off some really decent shots. He seemed like he had the dominance in that round and it was a clear round for Billy Joe Saunders. Round nine was also a really good round for Billy Joe Saunders. Both fighters did land some really good shots, but Billy Joe Saunders' aggression and him bullying at Archer Akavov in that round, to me, was the difference and was enough for me to score the round for Billy Joe Saunders. Round 10 was probably the closest round of the fight. Archer Akavov came in with a good start, landed some really good combinations. 
uh, but then he left it off the gas towards the middle of the round, allowing Billy Joe Saunders to come back and land a couple of good shots on his own. I think Billy Joe Saunders did enough in the second half of the round to actually take that round, um, but nevertheless, that round could have went either way. Now, round 11 and 12 were pretty much the same story. Archer Akabov was just coming in, throwing a lot of punches, landing a lot of good punches. He was backing up Billy Joe Saunders. By this point, Billy Joe Saunders looked really sluggish, really discouraged. And actually in round 12, about halfway through, it looked like he just gave up, like he was done fighting. Um, you could tell that he didn't look very confident in getting the win. So to me, that was a great way to end the fight for Archer Akabov. It really sealed the deal for me uh, on him winning this fight. So now we can go ahead and get into what the judges scored it. I'm not actually sure about the exact scores, but regardless, they give Billy Joe Saunders the unanimous decision. And I don't think he deserved it. I don't think he did enough in the fight to win. Archer Agavov was clearly the more dominant guy doing what he wants in there, landing more shots. I mean, it really doesn't get much clearer than that. Even if I were to give a couple of the rounds that were circled, like rounds one and seven to Billy Joe Saunders, to me, it still wouldn't be enough for a win, maybe a draw. And those circled rounds I gave Dar Dragovov, you know, I clearly listed why I gave them to him. Um, like I said, they probably could have been scored either way, but I seen him doing more in those rounds to be scored for Archer Akabov. And I don't want to get into any crazy conspiracy theories here, um, but in my opinion, I want to say he got the hometown decision. Like I said, I don't see how you can justify him winning this fight unless someone can make a video proving me wrong. Other than that, I've seen it how I've seen it, and I'm sticking with my decision. And I'm also going to go on record saying that after seeing Billy Joe Saunders in this fight, I do not think he's ready to be in there with the likes of Triple G, especially fighting in that fashion. Maybe if he takes the time, you know, to work on himself, kind of get back into the groove of things. I know he was on a pretty long layoff going into this fight, but even then, I still think his chances against Gennady Golovkin are fairly slim, and that's just my opinion. And for Arthur Akovov, I don't think that he should be written off after this fight. He clearly proved to me that he has what it takes to be in there with some champions of the middleweight division. I would like to see him up against another top middleweight. Not sure who, but any of them would do. Like I said, he's a pretty talented fighter. He's a really skilled guy, and I think he fares well with any of the top middleweights out there. But like I said, he didn't get the decision this time. Drop some comments in the comments section. Just let me know what you think if you've seen the fight and let me know who you would like to see both of these fighters in with next. But once again, I'd like to thank everybody in advance for watching this video. Please let me know what you thought about the fight, if you've seen the fight, and if you felt Billy Joe Saunders won, please explain to me how you've seen that. I want some pretty good details to back up that statement. If you felt Archer Akabal won, like I said, let me get some details to why you felt he won as well. And that's pretty much all I got for this video. This is Sebastian, and once again, with the boxing tip, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace out.